Kiki, do you love me? Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but you know what? Life gets in the way, and I'm back. If you're new to my videos, then my name is Abuikanyo. I'm going to try and make this a regular basis video. So today, I'm back with one of the world's most hated vegetables. What is it? I'm going to give you a moment to think about it, but we're going to make it two ways, okay? We're going to make a hot dish, and we're going to make a cold dish. So that, you know what, you have a bit of versatility and you have something to choose from. So, the vegetable of today is, yes, Brussels sprouts. I'm going to try and make you fall in love with it. Do you love me? So, let's get on it. Our first dish is sautéed Brussels sprouts in a creamy sauce with crispy bacon and picorino cheese on top. You can put bacon and cheese in anything and it will taste like a million bucks. Mm -mm -mm. These are Brussels sprouts. You know what? I actually didn't start eating Brussels sprouts until probably two years ago. So I don't blame a lot of people for thinking this tastes like crap. If you add things to it, they taste really, really good. So I'm going to start with the hot dish. And you know what? If you've never seen how Brussels sprouts looks like, this is how it looks like. It looks like a mini cabbage. It tastes like a mini cabbage, but better. I'm going to go ahead and grab enough Brussels sprouts for about four people. And what I'm going to do is that you always need to cut the end of the Brussels sprout, okay? So you cut that little piece off that goes in the trash. And you have different sizes of Brussels sprouts, okay? So you have a large one, you have a small one. You want to make sure that they cook evenly. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut this in half, right? I'm going to cut the smaller one in half and I'm going to cut the bigger one in quarters so that when I put them in the pan, they are cooking at the same time, so they are nice and even, and one is not raw and one is not overcooked, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and cut all of my Brussels sprouts like that. I'm um, also keeping in mind the size of it. Okay, so I have three strips of bacon here. We're going to put it in the hot pan with a tiny bit of oil. Oh, these are nice fatty bacon strips. Do you hear that? That's what you want to hear, a nice sizzle to your pan. So our crispy bacon is done. What you want to do is take it off the heat. And you know what? Some people like to drain the fat, but I'm not one of those people. So just take the crispy bacon, put it on your chopping board. Don't discard of this bacon oil and flavor. It has a lot of flavor in it. We're going to put that back on. Okay. On a medium heat, not too hot, we take our yummy Brussels sprouts. Just have one more look at it. Yum. We're going to put all our Brussels sprouts face down into the pan so that it browns nicely. You want to do this reasonably quickly. Okay. Don't burn yourself. Okay, I think that's enough. Your pan shouldn't be too full. You should have enough oil in there. Add butter if you want to, but because I'm going to add cream, I don't want to put in too much butter or it could be too fatty. Okay. So that's going to go on for a couple of minutes, two minutes at most. If you need to shake it up, I'm going to come back to my bacon. My bacon is nice and crispy. Look at that riddle. I love it like that, okay? So what you want to do is that put all three bacons together. Do you hear that sound? That's the sound of nice and crisp bacon. So you just want to do little bits of that and you chop them into little bacon bits. And that's it. So, attention back to our sprouts, okay? You can see that it's sprouting a little bit. Nice color. Look how beautiful that looks. I flipped it over for another minute on the other side. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of cream. Oh, that's hot. And let that cook for another two minutes that cream is going to make sure that the Brussels sprouts cook evenly and they cook inside it's going to create a nice sauce to that look at that nice and bubble and I'm going to add a little bit of salt in here not too much salt because the bacon has quite a lot of um, salt to it so we just want to add literally like three grinds of salt in there so that's been cooking for two minutes so you're going to lower the heat actually turn the heat off grab your cheese and a grater and just Grate a bit of cheese in there. Oh my god, that cheesy deliciousness. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and put this into our warm dish oh my god that is some creamy deliciousness okay everybody is gonna want a piece of this to finish that off is great some more cheese on there so cheese on top and you remember those little bacon bits that you made in the beginning just sprinkle those on top and that adds a nice salty crispy element to it and meaty element and just finish it off with a little bit of parmesan and there we have it nice and cheesy bacon sprouts that everyone will be delighted to try okay so now we're moving on to our second dish this is a cold dish it requires absolutely no cooking so it's pretty easy okay i'm gonna do a salad a brussels sprout salad and what i'm gonna do with the brussels sprouts is if you come in closer then you'll see that i have kept the brussels sprouts raw i have shredded them a little bit and there's a bit of whole brussels sprouts how do i get that like that so what you want to do is you cut off that little bit of the brussels sprout and then you have the leaves that are outside of the brussels sprout see they just basically fall off and you want to wash these but the ones that are a little bit covered in um the brussels sprout the outer layer of the brussels sprout leaves are basically fine and you put those in your salad and then you don't you want half and half of everything so after that is done you get a mandolin and you want to shred your brussels sprouts like that if you don't have a mandolin then use a knife and they come nice and thin like that and you just put them into your salad this is basically like cabbage but a softer texture and a softer flavor to carrot to cabbage and what you want to do with that little piece because the mandolin is so sharp you don't want to cut your fingers is i'm just gonna go ahead and basically julienne or shred those just by slicing them the same size i put them in my salad that's a nice vibrant different colors of green and i just love the way it looks like nice and fresh and it's gonna be zesty what we're gonna add in here is we're gonna go with sunflower seeds these are really healthy Brussels sprouts are also really healthy. They are really rich in vitamin K and in vitamin C. So really good for you. We're just going to add a little bit of... I'm going to go ahead and add everything. Pumpkin seeds in there. You want to go ahead and make a vinaigrette. The vinaigrette is basically just one part acid to three parts oil. A bit of salt, a bit of pepper. Any flavor that you want to add. You can add mustard. You can add a bit of honey. Actually to this to make it a bit sweeter. But we want a zesty vinaigrette. So we're going to add a bit of lemon. Cut that in half. Ooh, that is nice and juicy. And then just squeeze it into a bowl. I just go ahead with my arm or with my hand and I just squeeze all the juice in there. And I catch all those pits with my hand. To that lemon juice, I'm going to add a bit of pepper. Just grind some fresh pepper into that. And then we're going to add a bit of salt in there. And then we want to go ahead with our extra virgin olive oil. This is really good. You don't want to use anything else. You can use olive oil, but you don't want to use any cooking oil, canola oil. It just has a doesn't have a really good flavor. And just add a bit of oil to that slowly while you mix that up. Look at that. That's the kind of texture you want. You know, definitely that's three parts of oil to one part of your could be vinegar, white wine vinegar, red wine vinegar, could be um lemons. This is really lemony. I love it. If you don't like the lemon flavor, add a bit of honey to that. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my salad. Let this sit for a minute just to let all that flavor just absorb into the Brussels sprout. This is nice and fresh and zesty and healthy. Okay, so when that is mixed up, just give it another taste. Okay, if you're happy with the taste, then we're going to move on. Bit of firm avocado that's nice and green. You want to give that um, a bit of a slice like that. Make sure not to cut yourself. So be careful. Use a smaller knife. Cut it like that. Now, I don't like avocados that are too long. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that in half. Right? And then 
just cut it again like that. Wanna get that out? Okay, now after the avocado is nice and laid on top of that, I think it needs a bit of color. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of pepper on top, just for that last je ne sais quoi. And I'm gonna add a little bit of salt on top of the avo. Okay, not too much. It's nice and green and flavorsome. So I'm just gonna add the finishing touches. I'm gonna add a bit of parsley. Why not add to that nice deep green um, color? There we have it, our nice and crunchy fresh salad with a smooth avocado and that textured sunflower seed. This is honestly appealing, it's healthy and it tastes phenomenal. So I hope that you guys try this, both dishes. And yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe to my channel, it's the only way I know how to keep making these videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.